Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to talk to you all about the best type of mouth guards you can buy for dirt cheap. If you want to check them out, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you. So about six months ago, I came in for a regular dental cleaning, and then my dentist told me I have a condition called nocturnal bruxism, which is uh, teeth grinding at night. Teeth grinding is not a good condition to have because it causes all kinds of premature wear on your teeth, possible cracked teeth, jaw pain, and you're more susceptible to cavities. So since there isn't a cure for this condition, all you can do is take preventive measures and just find a mouth guard that is best suitable for you. So you can either use a top mouth guard or a bottom mouth guard. I decided to make this video to share my experiences with you and to hopefully save you a bunch of money by buying an aftermarket mouth guard. Because the ones I'm showing you right now are actually from the dental office and they cost around $350 a piece. Now if you don't want to spend that kind of money and you'd rather save money and buy something that's very comparable to these, then just check out the link down in the description below. No matter where you get your teeth grinding mouth guards from, a dental office or an over the counter product, I'd highly recommend that you try out the bottom mouth guards. I found those to be the most comfortable because they're a lot lighter, smaller, and they don't require any suction to stay in place. The upper mouth guards sometimes can irritate your gag reflex and they're a lot larger as well and require suction to stay in place. So here's my cheaper alternative that my dentist actually recommended to me. It's only $10. If you'd like more information on it, then just read down in the description below. Here's the front of the box. You get four mouth guards, two for the upper jaw and two for the lower jaw. It also comes with this blue storage container and these instructions. If you'd like to pause the video at any moment in time, you can read the instructions in detail. Here's what it looks like right outside of the box. It just needs to be customized by warming up some hot water that's not boiling, but just pretty hot to the touch. And I actually warmed the water in this bowl right here, and I did the impressions um, separate. So I did the bottom ones first, and then the top. So I warmed up some water uh, for two minutes, just like this in a microwave, and then I dropped the mouth guard inside just like that for about 20 to 30 seconds or so. And then you can kind of start to see the edges kind of curl up. And then I just used a fork and just scooped it up and then kind of let it drain off the water. And then I immediately went to a mirror and try to line this piece up with my mouth and create some suction so it creates a really nice impression. Once you're happy with it, then you can run some cold water through it and then it'll stay permanent just like this. I highly recommend that you don't cut anything beforehand because actually once you warm these up, it actually shrinks a little bit. So don't be afraid of trying to rewarm these things up again so you can try to conform it and customize it as best to your teeth as possible because you can always warm it up and then cool them off again to create that uh, perfected customizable feel in your mouth. After you're all done, decide on which one you prefer. I like the bottom ones like I said before and now you're ready to start protecting your teeth. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with someone that can use it. And as always, thank you all for watching.